Hey now, what is up everybody? My name is Mike Brown, aka Rebuking MB, and I just got done watching My Spy. My Spy is a 2020 film that was originally supposed to come out in theaters like every other film, but obviously that's not happening, so it came out on demand, VOD, however the hell you can watch it at your house, you can do that. Actually, originally this movie was scheduled to come out last year, 2019, and for whatever reason it got pushed to this year, and then they got unlucky <laughs> once again. It's directed by Pierce Siegel, and the plot. The plot is we follow Dave Batista, who plays JJ. He's a CIA spy agent who, at the very beginning, this mission that he's a part of goes horribly wrong, so almost as punishment or... He gets reassigned to just watch in surveillance this family uh, because they have a family member who's a criminal and he could come back. So they have to watch the family. Of course, he accidentally interacts with the daughter and the mother and it becomes this whole crazy big thing. Blah, 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 blah. I'll be honest, guys. My Spy, this film is not horrible. It's not terrible. It's not going to be on my worst movies of the year list unless well if we if we're even getting more movies this year who knows we might have such fewer films this year that when i do make my worst of list maybe i'll have to add this to it just because there's not that much to compare it to not that many movies left to say is bad because i thought this movie had its moments had a decent enough premise it's your typical, you have a big, huge muscle guy, tough guy, who has to interact with a child. We've seen this before. I'm sure we'll see it some more again. Dave Bautista, normally, if you see him in like Guardians of the Galaxy, he's hilarious, really funny, some of the best lines. Or if you see him in Blade Runner 2049, he's very dramatic, very serious. Like Those movies really showed how much range this guy has. Yes, he was a wrestler. Yes, I know him as the wrestler. But to see his career in film go to those levels, I was impressed. This time around, though, it just he, he felt very generic. He felt very not special. It, it, just, it didn't seem like he had that energy, that charisma, the one-liners. Like This felt like a film that if somebody like Arnold Schwarzenegger or The Rock, or somebody like that who could pull uh, some some of these cheesy lines off, pull some of this horrible dialogue off. And again, it's not 100% his fault because the script is that lame. <laughs> the the whole dialogue, the premise, the, the script just, just isn't, it doesn't really have a lot of interesting things going on here. He interacts with the daughter, Sophie, played by Chloe Coleman. She... Get, finds out that he's spying on them and so she blackmails him into sort of uh, teaching her what it's like to be a spy that is just the interactions between them were amusing I, at best I got some chuckles here and there but still I wasn't laughing as much as the movie I think wanted me to there was plenty of scenarios plenty of jokes plenty of situations that were supposed to be funny you could tell they were setting up for for comedic moments like Batista ice skating and continuing to fall over or just moments like that when when he takes the mother out on a date and he's dancing and it's supposed to be this whole laugh out loud thing but I'm just not really laughing and that makes for some awkward moments I will say that his partner in the movie Kristen Schaal she was fine she was decent I enjoyed her for the most part Ken Jeong plays the CIA boss, and normally he's very over the top, or I've seen him be over the top, the Hangover movies, of course. He was very laid back here. He was very just sort of a regular guy, and I appreciated that because I, I, I got pretty sick of Ken Jeong by the time like the third Hangover movie came around. And and look, this plot, this the the villain, and this hard drive, and the terrorist attacks or whatever the hell they were trying to stop. I honestly forgot about the, the bad guy and about the villains and about what they were trying to do. 
because the movie isn't really about that. Yes, it's a kid's film, so sure, maybe I shouldn't have been thinking so hard about this. Maybe I shouldn't have cared so much about it, but man, I I try to get invested. I try to make myself care more about this, and ultimately, I didn't really care a whole whole lot. A little disappointing because this should have been a lot better uh, overall. I'll give it a Netflix and chill, but man, you are. That's me being nice, guys. This this isn't all that great. If you have kids, I'm sure they'll like it. There's Cardi B in there. For some reason, kids like her. Completely inappropriate. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you too have seen My Spy. Like, comment, subscribe. Later. <laughs>